All right, I want to talk about five healing foods that have been a staple of my diet as I've healed from Lyme and Candida and other various afflictions. So here we go. Um, they're all warming foods. That's why, because the body gets cold and has a lot of energy it needs to expend to heal. So we want to put super warming, high energetic foods in to the count there in order to give it as much energy as it needs. Number one, kale. Kale, super powerful green uh, superfood, really, really yummy. Uh, now the trick is that you always want to cook these foods, especially if you're a thin person. The body has to expend a ton of energy to process raw or cold food. Always have your food warm, cooked, especially kale and things that are really rough. So kale um, is number one. Uh, number two would be rutabaga, similar to turnip. Oh man, it's such a great food. Low starch, uh, it's purple and white, high in magnesium and many other yummy things. Looks kind of like a potato a little bit when you cut it up. Uh, number three, uh, garlic. Oh man, my savior. Such a lovely thing, garlic. Raw garlic. That's the one thing you can eat raw. At least that's one thing I eat raw because it has such powerful immune boosting properties. Uh, number four uh, would be cabbage. Yes, cabbage is amazing. can be used to make sauerkraut or can be used to cook up as well as the other ones, um, like in a, a, a veggie medley. And uh, number five, I'd say, is onion. Onion, super powerful, yummy, warm food. You cook all five of those up together, oh my goodness, the body is going to be thanking you so much. And just to cook them, all you got to do is steam them. Just put a little bit of water in the bottom, because they've got so much water in them anyway, they can steam easily. Um, don't cook them too long, just like, you know, two minutes or so, just so that they're soft enough to eat. And still you can retain the uh, super energetic qualities of them. Uh, so those are my big five to start you off, and uh, they're great ones, so have fun with that.